Hello and welcome to my video tutorial on California wastewater math for the grade one exam. Uh, this is specific to California. If you're in another state, I can't guarantee the validity of any of the material in here on your exam, uh, but my guess would be that they are probably relatively the same. Um, this is for grade one math. Uh, in California, grade one is the lowest exam that an operator can try to take the highest would be a grade 5 exam, so uh, what we're going to be going over today is pretty basic. Uh, my name is Christian Williams, I'm an operator in California, and uh, I wanted to make these videos to help people out uh, who are maybe struggling with the math and don't understand exactly uh, what they need to do and the steps that they need to go about to accomplish it. So uh, I wanted to make these to help you guys out, and uh, today uh, what we're going to be covering is the pounds formula and I will teach you the Davidson Pi formula, uh, which is um, a way to bypass algebra. Uh, it helps operators who aren't very good with algebra to uh, figure out this formula. Uh, we are going to paint a room. We are going to do percent efficiency and percent removal, which are both exactly the same. Uh, we're going to find volume of cylinders, like a clarifier, and squares, like an aeration basin. We're going to find the detention time of a clarifier. We will be doing chlorine dose, demand, and residual. And we will be doing weir overflow rate for a clarifier. And hydraulic and surface loading, which are exactly the same as one another. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, so first I want to teach you the Davidson Pi formula. Uh, if you read along, it's used primarily for the pounds formula, but can be used with other formulas as well. Uh, if you use it with other formulas, it requires manipulation on your own. Uh, I don't have time to go over it um, for other formulas. Uh, maybe I'll make a video some other time. And the way the pie works is, um, this, is ex this is what you would draw out on your piece of paper uh, to show your work. This is you showing your work right here. And what you do is you make all these cells right in here, and uh, this is what you're going to label them. So uh, in, the for in, the, in the question, they'll give you flow. I want you to put your flow in here. They're going to give you the concentration in milligrams per liter. I want you to put that in here. And then uh, this number right here is a constant number. It won't change, uh, not on the grade one. And uh, so this number is always here, 8.34 pounds per gallon. One gallon of water weighs 8.34 pounds. And what you do is anything on the bottom half of this circle is multiplied together to give you the top half of this circle. So they'll give you flow, concentration, and then this is your constant. Put this in there, put that in there, you multiply this by this by this, and it will give you pounds of whatever per day. Uh, now this can also work backwards. If they gave you the pounds per day and wanted to know the concentration or the flow, what you would do is you would put pounds per day and if they gave you the concentration, you would put it in here. You would put this number down here, because it's your constant. And if you took this number and divided it by everything on the bottom that you had, you would wind up with flow. Or if you had flow and you wanted to find concentration, you would divide pounds by flow by 8.34, and it would give you your concentration in milligrams per liter. And uh, the tip that they kind of give operators to do is to cover up whatever you're looking for with your thumb. <coughs> so if you're looking for milligrams per liter, you would cover this up with your thumb and that would let you know to divide pounds by MGD by 8.34. And uh, if you were looking for pounds, you would cover this up with your thumb and you would multiply all these guys together to get your pounds per day. And uh, we're going to go over that in two examples. And so the first example, so they're giving you a flow of 4 MGD, an influent BOD concentration of 250 milligrams per liter, and they want you to find out how many pounds of BOD per day. Uh, so the formula without um, the pi formula looks like this. It's MGD times 8.34 pounds per gallon times milligrams per liter. That is the flow that they'll give you on the cheat sheet for pounds. Uh, but we're not going to use that. We're going to use our pie chart. 
uh, because that helps operators out. So I want you to go ahead and draw out your circle, your pi, and I want you to fill it in with all this information. I want you to fill it in with your flow and your BOD concentration and that 8.34 pounds per gallon. And when you're done, it should look something like this. So I've put in my flow, 4MGD, which I got from right here. Put in my concentration, 250 milligrams per liter, which I got from right here. I've got 8.34 pounds per gallon, which is my constant. And I want to find out how many pounds per day of BOD are coming into my plant. So when I multiply this by this by this, it's just like down here. Flow times 8.34 times concentration. Flow times 8.34 times concentration. You should wind up with 8,340 pounds of BOD per day. And that's it. It's a very simple question. Like I said, uh, this, this pi really helps operators out a lot when they're struggling with algebra. Uh, so let's go on to the next um, question, which uh, is going to be what I was talking about, where if you cover up this uh, and they give you this, you divide to find out the concentration. So uh, here we go. They give you a flow of 4MGD and they give you pounds, 8,340. And they want to know the BOD concentration in milligrams per liter. So if you were to do this algebraically, this is what the formula would look like. And this is why the pi is nice, because instead of memorizing three formulas to figure out any part of this pi, all you have to do is draw one pi and know that anything below is multiplied to get the top, and anything in the top is divided by the bottom to find one of the bottom ones. So, uh, but algebraically, it's pounds per day divided by MGD times 8.34 pounds per gallon. But uh, instead of using that, we're going to go ahead and draw out our pi. So I want you to draw the pi and fill it in with the information. 8,340 pounds per day, which is from right here. 4 MGD from right here. 8.34 pounds per gallon, which is your constant. And what we want to find is the concentration in milligrams per liter. So if you take your pounds and divide it by 4 MGD and divide it by 8.34 pounds per gallon, you should get 250 milligrams per liter, which uh, was exactly the same question as uh, uh, the last one we did. Uh, when we wanted to find pounds per day, they gave us a concentration of 250 milligrams per liter. So that's the way the pi uh, formula works. It's really helpful for struggling operators. Uh, so I recommend that uh, you go this route when doing pounds. Uh, very helpful, very helpful. All right, let's move on.